Hello everyone, it's good to see real professionals at my presentation. Some of you know me already, but anyway, I think I should introduce myself once again. My name is Yelena, I uh, work as an associate professor and uh, I teach media law for future media professionals. My umbrella topic, our umbrella topic is children and today I'll be speaking about protection children in Russia from harmful information. Uh, and first, please let me ask you a question. Have you got children? Please raise your hands. Oh, I'm sure that the topic of my presentation will be of interest to you. <laughs> um, I also uh, haven't got children, but anyway, I take care about what children watch or read. You know, many experts have found out that children watch not only children programs or cartoons, but everything that is broadcasted on TV. Uh, they get to know the world through television and glamour magazines, content of which often includes materials harmful to them. And uh, the law, the law on protection of children from harmful information has recently become effective in Russia from the 1st of September. Um, it is designed to prevent children from seeing content that contains obscene materials, uh, or words, violence, as well as encourages them to drink or to drink alcohol or smoke. And uh, the law grades all media information into three main categories, permitted to everyone, permitted with certain age limits, and totally banned for distribution among children. The law also contains criteria according to which producers and editors determine the category of the content. But I should confess that some of them are too vague. Do you know this picture? I remember that on the eve of the law entering into force, this picture exploded on the runet. Uh, as the law prohibited all content uh, encouraging children to smoke, so all the characters who smoke uh, had to be censored, including this smoking wool from the very popular Soviet cartoon no Pagadi. Later, the head of Roskomnadzor, uh, the Federal Service for Supervision in the Area of Mass Communications, assured the TV industry that, you know, no Pagadi is a product that has a significant historical, artistic and cultural value for society and the law shouldn't be applied to this uh, cartoon. Okay, but this is another question. Will all these characters and cartoons be identified by the watchdog as uh, valuable for society and will they be prohibited to our children or not? Okay, let's proceed to age grading because it is very important. Maybe you've probably noticed that um, every TV program or newspaper or magazine is accompanied by a label. Uh, it means that Content um, is banned for children under the stipulated age. Also, it is important that content above 16 and above 11 must be broadcasted only from uh, 9 p.m. or even later. Sales of magazines and newspapers uh, marked as above uh, 11 uh, are banned for children. But uh, content marked as above 6 and above 12 can be broadcasted at any time and can be sold everywhere. And there is another question. Who will control? If, for example, a 7-year-old child watches the program marked as above 12? And the answer is parents. Parents will decide to let their child watch the program or not. Uh, parents also may complain to Roskomnadzor if they find that the program has been labeled improperly. Uh, to sum up, you know, the need for such law in Russia, I think, is unquestionable. But anyway, I think that the law should be improved in order to become clear, consistent and understandable as for the TV industry, as for the parents. And I think, finally, uh, the state control should be eliminated. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.